بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and this is the last episode in the revival series so listen to what we have to say today and follow us طريق مشاعل الأنوار هم للنسيم عبيرهم الفوار وضادة رفعوا التميز راية هم في العزيمة همة الأنصار هم للطريق مشاعل الأنوار هم للنسيم عبيرهم الفوار وضادة رفعوا التميز راية هم في العزيمة همة الأنصار هم للطريق مشاعل الأنوار هم للنسيم عبيد الفوار What I've spoken about during this series is a very, very, very brief introduction into Islamic history or into especially the, what I wanted to focus on was the fitan or the trials that happened in the history of the Ummah. Because in order for our Ummah to become great again and uh, to overcome the weakness it's in currently, it's going to go through trials. If in the best of days, the days of the Sahaba and uh, the Khulafa al Rashidin, which we've spoken about, the, the Sira or the, the stories as Khulafa very very briefly and we haven't given it its right in any way shape or form um, if they had problems and fitan in the best of days how about us today in possibly the worst of days so like I said this was just a very very brief introduction into the history of the Khulafa and the, the trials that they went through and how they dealt with them and eventually it led to the killing of uh, three of them of Umar was killed, Uthman was killed Ali radiallahu anhu arda was killed. So most of the Khulafa were killed and anyone that has a message and wants to pass it on to the world and he's sincere in this, he'll eventually um, most likely be killed. And as we said, this is um, why the ranks of the Shuhada are so great in the, in the, in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they're willing to sacrifice for the Ummah and they're willing to put something forward for the Ummah to make a difference. So I encourage myself and all of you to look uh, into more detail, especially in the, the, the history of the Ummah, after the Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. I'm sure most of us have probably already, already read the seerah of the Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. If we haven't, then this is a big shortcoming on our, uh, on our behalf and we should, we must actually read the seerah of the Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him to gain a general understanding of what the correct actions uh, are to do as a Muslim who's trying to bring about Islam or trying to bring about uh, change for the better. So, but after reading the seal of the Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, if you haven't already and you, and you must read it, um, focus on the times after this, the times of Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, and read in more detail. Because like I've said, whatever we've said here is uh, no way expansive. It's actually a very, very, very brief introduction with many shortcomings. So uh, do make sure that you uh, continue reading the history of the Ummah, um, watching any videos that possibly have uh, correct information. Also make sure that the history you're reading is correct information because it's a waste of time if you're reading information that's incorrect. Make sure that uh, the sources you're getting from are, are correct sources. For example, the books of uh, Dr. Salabi are very good. Uh, many of them have been translated into English and they're authentic source. Um, in terms of uh, modern day books. Also, I advise you um, uh, to look into uh, modern books for the reason that, uh, as long as they're authentic, for the reason that um, it's easier to read through the, the, the glossary or the contents page. It's clearer than the old books, for example, Bidaya wa Nihaya ibn Kathir or any of these old history books. They're not maybe not as easy uh, to read and uh, maybe the glossaries are not so, or the indexes are not so clear as um, so like I said, the reason we read Islamic history is to be able to understand uh, the situation of the Ummah today, to understand it from a political context, what's right, what's wrong, um, from an Islamic perspective. So to gain understanding, also to gain understanding of, of where, of the bigger picture. 
because the solution of the Ummah is not in one thing. The solution of the Ummah is not just in the media or it's not just in fighting or it's not just in uh, protests and demonstrations or it's not just in the political process. There needs to be a larger understanding of the context of, of, um, that we're living in today and that the, the previous generations went through in order to understand what achieving success or what achieving betterment for the Ummah uh, really means. So like I said, this series has been, uh, has been uh, shortcomings on my behalf, uh, firstly, and actually only on my behalf. Everyone else who worked in the series, uh, khair, may Allah reward them, make it heavier on the scale of deeds. So like I said, I do encourage myself and I encourage you um, to look more into Islamic history, uh, to be able to better the situation of the Ummah, at least uh, in our uh, immediate surroundings. And Zakhmullah khair for listening. I would like to hear from you if you have any comments or maybe ideas for future episodes or what, what would you want to know? Because you've heard what I have to say, um, or what we have to present. What do you want to know? What are you interested in knowing? Whether it's about Islamic history or, or mostly about Islamic history, if there's also any other subjects that maybe you'd like clarity on or maybe that uh, you would like me to speak about or maybe that are important to you now. For example, now, this, as you know, the series is being filmed from Idlib. Uh, Idlib is maybe the most spoken about place in the world now, even though no one knew anything about it before the, the Thawra or the Jihad here. Uh, people didn't know maybe much about Idlib. So what do you want to know about Idlib or about history, Islamic history, or um, what do you have to share with us? So please do leave it in the comments section and we are very keen on hearing from you. And hopefully, inshallah, even maybe a comment you make will will um, give us an idea for a future series or for something that will be possibly more useful even to the viewers and more beneficial, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair uh, for watching and for following us. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from us and you and give us the best of endings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.